It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. I'm worried now. I won't be worried long. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. I'm worried now. I won't be worried long. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. I'm worried now. I won't be worried long. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. I'm worried now. I won't be worried long. Hello, I was showing you my concentrating face there, but that was Worried Man Blues, an old folk song, played in four different styles, with four different strumming patterns, or four different rhythms, however you want to think of it. Thanks to my subscriber, Nilda, for asking the question in the comments, which was, can you play a song, one song, the same song, but with different rhythms, different strum patterns? I thought it was a really, really good idea because we often think about, oh, well, this is a such and such a song. It needs a such and such a rhythm. But actually, you can play around with these things and see what the effect is on the song you're playing, which is exactly what we're going to do now. The song Worried Man Blues is a really simple song. It only has three chords in the key of G that I'm playing it in. They are G, C and D7. It's a little chart on the screen for you. And on that chart, if you see a percentage mark, that just means keep playing the chord you're already playing for another bar. It just makes the chord names stand out a little bit more so you can see where the chord changes are. And at the beginning there, you could probably see I was focusing very hard because I was trying to go from one rhythm to another and sing and stay in time with my metronome. I've got my metronome here so you can clearly hear the beat. Um, it's quite a difficult thing to do, but of course, that's not what I'm gonna get you to do in this video. We're just gonna look at how those four different ways of strumming will make that song sound different. So let's break down these four rhythms. I'm gonna put the metronome on again, but I'm gonna slow it down. If you wanna use your metronome at home at the same tempo, it's 90 beats per minute. So here we go. Now, those clicks or those beeps in the case of my electronic one are where we would count the numbers. So one, two, three, four. That means the ands fit in in between. So that first rhythm is going to be down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. And it doesn't matter if you strum with your thumb or your finger or a pick, the motion's the same. One, two, and, and four. Down, down, up, up, down. Okay, so that rhythm works really, really well with this song. Let's play it together. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. It takes 
a worried man to sing a worried song I'm worried now I won't be worried long That's a very typical folky kind of strum and it works nicely for that song Now let's see what happens if we try our second rhythm So again, 90 beats per minute but on this one we're just doing a downstroke on each of the numbers on one, two, three, four. Now, at faster tempos, this is much more associated with playing jazz rhythm parts to a, singing a, a jazz standard. That sort of thing. It'll sound a bit sort of pl plodding, I suppose, at 90 beats per minute, but we're practicing. We can speed it up later on. Here we go. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song it takes a worried man to sing a worried song it takes a worried man to sing a worried song I'm worried now I won't be worried long Now this next one can be quite tricky and a lot of people have trouble with this one particularly when singing over the top of it This is a rhythm more associated with ska music The thing with this one is we don't play any of the downward strums at all We only play on the ups which are the ands. So it's really important that you have some kind of reference for where the beats are. We're going to have the metronome for that, but it might be stamping your foot or having somebody tapping the beat on their leg or just somebody playing another instrument in the band so you can hear where the beat is. But when you're on your own, a metronome is really useful. This one sounds like this. One and two and three and four. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song it takes a worried man to sing a worried song it takes a worried man to sing a worried song I'm worried now I won't be worried long And finally we have this nice little rhythm which is quite a tricky one a bit like the ska rhythm It has those ups, but there's a couple of downs in there But those extra downs aren't on the first beat of the bar or the third beat of the bar So we still have a gap at the beginning so we're going to go miss on the downstroke and then up, down, up, miss, up, down, up. The second part of the bar is the same as the first part. So if you can go miss, up, down, up, and keep repeating that, you'll be fine. So it go like this. One and two and, and four and. Here we go. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song It takes a worried man To sing a worried song It takes a worried man To sing a worried song I'm worried now I won't be worried long So as you can see they're all completely different and they're all really stylistically suited to different kinds of music but that doesn't mean you can't take a song from one style and turn it into something different There are lots of songs that were turned into ska songs for example and if you listen to the output of Trojan records 
there were lots of things that were either jazz standards or even theme tunes to popular television programs that were turned into ska records that were great for dancing to and partying to. This one, Worried Man Blues, has been played by so many people in different styles. It might be played in a folky style or in a bluegrass style or in a swing style. And you can take a great song and create a completely new version of it. It's also really good practice getting your rhythm in, finding what works for you, for the version of the song you want to sing, but also if you're playing with other people, you're going to want to get together and decide exactly how your version of a song is going to sound. I hope you've enjoyed this one and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.